back in the rangey. We have, I'm gonna turn that down, is that right? Because otherwise YouTube are gonna ping me for copyright. Take you down. Take me down. Um, we are on the road now to Scotland. It's a four hour drive ahead of us, as I explained earlier. Oh my God, look, beautiful ruins. It's turned into a really nice day as well, actually. Um, I said it was raining earlier. Um, but it's the sun's come out, we've got blue sky, it's absolutely beautiful and we're currently driving down the most incredible um, valley. I will insert a clip um, of what we're driving down because it's so beautiful. We are on our way to Edinburgh, we're stopping in um, up north to see Ben's grandparents for a bit and then we are... for eight miles. There you go. Um, <laughs> on the same road the whole way. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, then we're popping into Barber for a bit. I don't know whether I'm going to vlog that, but if I do, then I'll insert it. Um, and then up to Edinburgh. We're staying in an Airbnb in Edinburgh because it was the easiest thing to do. Um, and hopefully we can explore a little bit when we get there. I think my parents aren't there tonight. They're at a ball tonight and then they come tomorrow and my sister comes tomorrow as well. You can see Peppy behind me in the car seat. She looks like our child. It's so funny. You happy there, Peppy? She's really sleepy. Every time we get into the car, she immediately like gets rocked to sleep. Does, that, does anyone else do that? Because I always feel like that as well. Um, but yeah, beautiful, stunning scenery and we have a four hour road trip ahead of us. <laughs> shop called L Loudons? Ludons? Loudons. Loudons. Um, I've gone for the American pancakes and Ben has gone for, what is it? You're gonna have to talk Thanks me through this. Haggis, chili jam and cheddar. How insane does that look? I'm gonna have to try some. Because it just looks amazing. And I've gone for American pancakes. That's the biggest stack of pancakes I've ever seen. Look at the size next to my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> they lie, they steal, they fool us. Probably knew that I think I will be holding it on to The one thing that I know is stronger Love is blind and no one's perfect God, that light is powerful today. We are in Edinburgh. We're on Circus Lane. We are going to take some photos here, I think, today. Peppy is with us walking along. We just went to the market, but um, it was very busy and Peppy was getting a bit stressed, so we decided to come and have a little wonder instead. Been a few days since I checked in. We are driving through the Cairngorms um, in Scotland. It's absolutely beautiful. There's rolling hills, mountains, trees, rivers. It's beautiful, isn't it? The road is so rain. gorgeous. Lots of rain though. Um, the last two days it has been absolutely gorgeous sunshine in Edinburgh. And today we woke up and it's shocking weather. But we are on a way to find, on the way even, to find a pink castle. What's it called? Cragveer. Cragveer Castle. Um, and I've seen this on Instagram a few times. But yeah, essentially it's pink. It looks like it's from a fairy tale. It's so beautiful. I want to go and see it. Um, and I've had it saved in my Scotland file on um, Instagram for such a long time. So we're gonna go and see that. It's about three hours out of the way from where we need to be. Um, and we're staying in Inverness tonight. We've booked in for Azizi's tonight. Um, and yeah, so we're staying in Inverness in what, a little guest house? I don't think it's anything special, but we've just booked in, um, found somewhere to stay. Uh, and yeah, so we're gonna go to the Pink Castle now. I think we're still a few hours away, aren't we? How many hours? Two? About an hour and a half. An hour Not and a half. Bad. Not too bad. Just a bit of the plungy. 
there's so many amazing named places. Um, it is actually drying up a bit. Hold on, I'm gonna flip you around yeah, so you can ridiculous. see this. Look, Look at this. Absolutely insane. Absolutely beautiful. My camera battery though is flashing now, so I think it's gonna die, which is so annoying. Um, I don't, I didn't bring my camera charger, so I'm gonna have to vlog the rest of the trip on my iPhone. Hopefully the quality won't be too bad, but I thought I'd just um, explain that now. Uh, so yeah, if, if there's a change in quality, that's why. Just come into Aberdeenshire and we have hit the slopes. This is crazy. There's a whole ski resort here. I mean, there's literally like two two chairlifts, but you know, you've got to start somewhere. Two green runs. Two green runs. Literally very green right now as well. Wee. Wee. <laughs> that's so cool. Look at that. Balmoral, past the Queen's estate, which was amazing. Um, she's obviously time, there. Didn't yeah, didn't, didn't have time to stop in yeah. and grab a cup of tea with her. Um, but we drove past. They have police outside because obviously they are there for summer. Really cool to drive past and see it. And now we're just in like a random little town. There's so many abandoned buildings. It's so sad, but it's so beautiful. Look well, at this I little bridge. Off, and like, really? Oh, and that you'd have to go all the way back. Yeah. How gorgeous is this? Look. This is what it's been like the whole way though. It's just absolutely stunning. Oh my God, you can see it just peeking through the trees. It's so, so beautiful. Look at that. We've made it to the castle of dreams. I think Ben's getting a bit of a cold. Absolutely beautiful, managed to get some of our shots. So pretty, managed to get some of Peppy too. Look at this. So beautiful. Is it, is it gonna rain? They made us lose our focus The very same hands that formed us Go build a better tomorrow For you I'd make it a rainbow I think I will be holding on to everything I dreamed of and more and I really hope I'm pronouncing that right so beautiful definitely got the shot I'll um, insert the shot that we got somewhere here got some gorgeous shots of Peppy too so I'll insert them as well just stop for a minute where are we we're back in the Ken Gorms aren't we Ken Gorms Peppy's just in the car can you see her Peppy <laughs> Ben is trying to get the drone to work because the road that we are on is absolutely beautiful I'm really chilly are you very very cold um, we'll get so we just pulled over at the side of the road. Um, I think, what time are we supposed to be at our... So I think we're supposed to check into our accommodation around now. Oh my God, it's really cold. <laughs> um, not sure it's gonna work. Nope. Silly drone. Um, but I've just looked back at the pictures from um, the castle. I think it's called Craigivar. 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 Craig, or Craig Iver, Craig Iver maybe, um, Craig Iver Castle, but so beautiful, I'm so pleased we went there, it was a massive detour out of the way, but I'm glad we went because it's so beautiful, if we do manage to get any drone footage, I'll put it in, I don't think it's going to happen, <laughs> at some point, but I don't think it's going to happen, it's not connecting, so, oh, and it's so cold, I'm going to get back in the car, <laughs> the Wi-Fi is not working, Vlogging on my phone again. Um, it's ben and I, it is actually really easy. Yeah. Ben and I are in Inverness now. We are in ZZ's. This is the most northerly ZZ's in the UK. So we are representing Grand ZZ's um, and we've come to Inverness and we're having a ZZ's here. To be fair, I think this might be my favourite as well. I think this is the best ZZ's we've been we to. Food yet. Oh, we haven't had the food yet. But also they offer me spicy chicken, which they don't normally offer me down south, so nice view. that's slightly like different. The view is amazing. I'm looking onto the river um, and my parents, funnily enough, we just had a drink with my parents 
um, in a little local pub. They have gone to a restaurant that my mum booked back in June. What's the restaurant called? Uh, Rockpool. Rockpool so the restaurant is called Rockpool. Um, my mum booked it back in June because last time she came she was really disappointed that she couldn't go um, and it was full. So she booked that this time. So I'll let you guys know how she got on there. Um, obviously she's with my dad, she's not just sitting there on her own. It's fine though, you can go and sit in a restaurant on your own. Um, but yeah, so they're there tonight and we've come to Zizi's. I think they might come and join us for a drink after. Um, but yeah, should be really nice. I'm excited for the food here. The guys are so lovely as well. And um, I can't believe we've made it to, where's the one in Devon? Do you reckon the Devon one is probably the most southerly Zizi's as well? Do you reckon? Well, we shall try and get to the most southerly ZZs as well at some point, but um, at least we made it to the most northern ZZs. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, it is Tuesday today. Tuesday. Tuesday, and we are driving through, I don't even know what this area is so called. So we're driving from Inverness through to Torridon, uh, essentially just east to west. And yeah. We're slicing through Scotland and on probably one of the best A roads in Ever. the country. Ever. <laughs> um, I'm back on the camera as well because Ben amazingly managed to charge it for me using the USB, which is great, and we can charge it from the car as well, which is even better. Shout out Canon for that. Um, yeah, picture. well done. Um, but I can't. The thing is, if I flip the camera around and show you what we're seeing, it it just won't. You won't be able to get a sense of what it is through the camera. It's absolutely incredible. There is just rolling hills of just pure flat grass gorse heather um and then mountains it's just beautiful i'll flip it so you can kind of see what i'm talking about but it's really dark as well <laughs> but it's just amazing and then this is what we're looking at and there's a railway line just here you can see it and that railway line must be one of the most spectacular railway lines ever um, so the plan is, we actually don't have anywhere to stay tonight, um, we haven't booked anywhere, we haven't really looked, hopefully we can just rock up somewhere um, and stay. The only problem we have really is the dog friendliness of places. Um, I think typically everywhere's fine, aren't they? Yeah, they just fine. want like an ex extra bit of money for a cleaning fee, um, not that, I mean Peppy's probably cleaner than most humans anyway. Um, yeah, look, look. It's just so beautiful. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have to try and find somewhere to stay tonight. Not sure where that's gonna be yet. Um, but hopefully we'll just be able to find a cute little B&B somewhere, somewhere random um, and figure it out. But what's the plan for today? Where are we heading? I'm trying to find out what's, yeah. There's, there's basically a road up into the mountains, um, which roads. looks incredible, but I don't think we can get there. Okay, we're just gonna pull over somewhere. Um, there's some amazing roads, amazing drives. We are having a great time. We've had no signal for a long time now, um, but it is amazing. Peppy is still curled up. Oh no, she's not, she's looking. We want to try and find somewhere to stop for lunch, although it's only, it's 11.40 right now. Um, we want to find somewhere for lunch that we can stop and get out and Peppy can have a good run around because she hasn't really had a proper proper run around obviously this is great for us because we can like look out the windows and it's beautiful but for a dog I don't think it's that interesting so yeah the plan is to find more spectacular scenery and just enjoy it really To a little spot at the side of the road and there is a beach right on the lock I don't know which lock this is find out you right Ben's now. gonna find out um, it's a wee bit nippy it's a bit cold Peppy is having a lovely time running around um, she wanted lock to go for a swim <laughs> lock what a quiz um, you know you're up north when all the signs get Celtic oh my god it suddenly got really cold oh, and someone else has stopped now Peppy come here <laughs> Um, absolutely beautiful, so beautiful. I, d I don't have any more descriptive words, that's it. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> what are you doing? 
sweet. Oh, he's drinking it. She's a blue and gray. I feel just like an empty bottle. My dreams are on delay. I just want to climb on top of a hill and throw it all away. Away. My mind spins off and now you're more derailed, derailed Eating our sandwiches at a little picnic spot Just run cheese we've got so much stuff um it's brilliant it's literally amazing so you could have ice cold drinks like say you were driving somewhere obviously the driver can't drink but you could literally have ice cold beers um so you spent the day at the beach or something ice cold beers in the afternoon but yeah we've literally got peppy is so cute just sitting in the back there she wants a carrot that's why um but yeah we have our car snacks here in the little cup holder we've got all the carrot sticks and all the hummus and then the rest of the food in the fridge here. Happy? Very happy. Good view? Insane view. This view. So this is how we end up. The game is set to play. Every day remains the same now. One decision we obey. I just want to climb on top of a hill and throw it off. stopping to take pictures we stopped we pulled in um, in this little spot um, along the coast and below us there was a fish farm uh, and an eagle you could hear it and all of a sudden it just kind of exploded from the trees didn't it and yeah. came up um, and it was just absolutely beautiful oh wow there you go. Kettle. oh my god 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is what I've wanted for the whole trip. I've wanted to find some Highland Castle to take some photos. So we're gonna get out. close enough to like the side of the road or close enough to us to be able to get a picture without going for like a massive hike and because it's pouring with rain actually it's kind of okay now isn't it oh my god look at this oh it smells good now it is though that's beautiful and the sunlight just on the sea over there amazing um that's literally what we've been doing like the whole journey just flipping the camera around every two seconds uh so beautiful though i'm so glad we got to see the cows um, my mum's gonna be so jealous as well because she absolutely loves them and they're super cute and super tiny and they're quite friendly as well um, we were quite respectful um, and didn't get too close in the photos it looks like we did get quite close but we managed to keep our distance um, and make sure that we weren't disturbing them too much especially because they had two young babies but day absolutely made so happy that we managed to see them now we are a few miles or no an hour from apple cross what did you say ten minutes. 10 minutes 10 minutes from apple cross which i think is where we're going to try and stay the night or i think we're going to see Maybe. what's there have a look see if they've got any um bnbs and stuff and then head on from there if not um peppy's still quite happy in the back uh we still haven't managed to find a spot to get out and have a little walk with her it's really really boggy so she would literally just sink in the bog within two seconds if we got her out of the car but we are definitely going to try and find a good spot to go for a long walk up so I don't know if you can hear me very well but we're on a pink beach it's absolutely beautiful Peppy is having the time of her life we're on this little island and um, the sea is really coming in so we need to make our way back over to that bit there um, Peppy what have you got <laughs> she's found a shellfish shellfish yeah, sure, like a, no it's not a mussel it's like a cockle clam that's it she's got a clam Pep, do you want some water <laughs> She's having the best time though, but this place is stunning. So beautiful. I imagine you right here with me. So please don't die into her arms and please just leave my love alone and please don't be another. full so we've driven on we have nowhere to stay tonight it's five o'clock now <laughs> i don't think we're gonna get somewhere to stay tonight so i think we're gonna be camping in the car which to be fair will be a great test for range rover oh my god ben that view yeah. look at that um it'll be a great test for the rangey um to see if it's comfortable enough for us to stay in tonight um but yeah it's 
beautiful drive now. We are taking the, what is this drive? How have you heard about this? Probably Ball from Top Gear. Ballen back or something. It's rated one of the best roads to drive in the UK. Wow. So that's a it's pretty a high accolade. Top somewhere, so we'll have a look. Okay. It's stormy. It Basically, is. the storm, the, as you said earlier, the tropical yeah. storms coming in. So rather than get stuck in Apple, Apple Cross, Apple Bay. See, you were going to we, say um, Apple Bay. Yeah, look, I mean, you can see it there. Yeah, so the storm is basically just coming in it's now. Level with us. Um, so we are going to get as far away from the storm yeah. as possible. But also, this road, um, careful on this bit, Ben. Jeez. Um, this road, it says on the sign, warning. yeah, it comes with a warning that it's um, practically impassable yeah. in wintry, wintry conditions. conditions whatever wintry conditions mean because it's Scotland <laughs> Scotland is always winter not always but you know what I mean um so we're taking this road now oh my ears just popped have yours popped yet oh Pepe's fast asleep in the back of the car now oh my face is really warm from um cold wind you know when you've been skiing um for the day and you come in and your face is all numb because you've been in the fresh air all day. Um, this road is beautiful. It is getting a bit worse for wear now. Very and it's single track the whole way. So there are passing places and we just have to be careful when we see and meet another car. I mean, the road is kind of, kind of disappears <laughs> at some point. It's not a great road. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on our on our night situation. To be, I don't mind sleeping in the car. It's a really lovely place to sleep if we do. We've got Netflix so. downloaded. All we need is some 4G just in case and we're all good to go. That's it. That's it. That's it. There's a van coming. Yeah. It's alright. I think he's up there. I think he's found somewhere to stop. Yes. Keep you updated. Just wanted to show you this insane view quickly. Look at this. absolutely shattered <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie um, slept in the car last night um, we're at a campsite we literally pay 10 pounds to be fair the setting is absolutely stunning we are overlooking Eileen Donnan Castle um, and we literally paid 10 pounds to stay in this campsite it's got showers it's got toilets um, so Ben's just in the shower now actually my sleep was absolutely fine um i just got really cold halfway through the night and um i'd given ben like the wool blanket and i had a towel to sleep in so i had a towel and i had my um and i had my uh cape with me <clears throat> so i was actually okay but i am just a bit cold now i want a cup of tea i need some breakfast i think i've deserved it um, it was just so hard to find somewhere to stay last night. We would we were driving for a little while, um, and all the B and Bs and all the hotels were booked for the night. So we didn't really have much choice, um, and we had to sleep in the car. But do you know what? As nights nice turn out, it was absolutely fine. Um, Ben's getting his shower. Like that's the one thing. If he can't have a shower, he's he gets in a very bad mood. So um, yeah, but. We are at the tail end of Storm Dorian, which has come over from the US. Um, so last night the car was being shook. And I'm sure you can hear the rain now. Um, it was pretty bad. I literally look like such a state. My skin. I did manage to do my full pamper routine last night though. So I'll take you with me this morning to do my pamper routine um, in the bathroom. But yeah, just a bit knackered. Um, need some food, need some tea. Look, you can see it in my eyes, and I think I've got a spot here, which is really annoying. My eyes are a bit bloodshot. Should be fine once I've once I've washed my face and stuff. Um, I kid you not, the trees are like this right now. 
it is so windy ben actually moved the car halfway through the um evening because he was really worried that the, the telephone pylon was gonna fall on the car in the storm it's fine everything is still standing um i feel bad for the people that slept in tents last night a load of people got here like super late in the night it was pouring with rain and they still put their tent up and i was just like why don't you just stay in your car you silly people um but yeah i think i think we did all right in this car <laughs> i'm quite pleased we were a bit worried as well we called um range rover land rover last night because the warning light came on saying that the battery was going to run flat um, so we were a little bit worried that we would have no car to drive today but we called them up they said it should be absolutely fine if we just powered it up for like half an hour and then turned it off it should last through the night so we did that and it's fine we turned it on this morning everything seems okay so that's good um, but anyway I've been waffling for a while so I'm going to go to the bathroom there you go I have my flannel and I'm going to wash my face and brush my teeth. And then I've got my makeup in the car, so I'll do my makeup in the car, I think. Um, and then there's a place around the corner that does breakfast. I'm gonna go get some breakfast from there. Um, I've got this weird thing under my eye here. It's a bit annoying. Please don't be just another one man. Say it's me you've been looking for. doing my makeup in the car I don't know if you can see me very well hopefully you can I don't know whether to straighten my hair or not I don't know much problem this, in this weather well I'm kind of thinking that but it's dry now so yeah but it might, it's gonna be very changeable so this is the super famous Eileen Donnan castle and it is absolutely beautiful you can see it behind me literally just etched onto the onto the water the gorgeous little bridge over to it, so pretty. So we're gonna get some pictures, it's absolutely breathing. <laughs> over at the side of the road um we have had a cup of tea what was the place called the wee the wee, cafe. The wee bun house yeah. the wee bun house um on the road from eileen donnan doran doran why do i forget these places as soon as we've left um and now yeah we've just pulled in at the side of the road um overlooking just more beautiful more beautiful stuff um, because it's time for Peppy's breakfast so we've got her here <laughs> it's a beautiful face Peppy so she's eating um, and this is like it ju it's just really really beautiful around here there's a little beach down here which I think we can get to in a bit maybe after Peppy's had her breakfast look at that someone's dumped a chair down there which is a bit of a shame but lovely little beach and then this view is just stunning so yeah we're just gonna stop here for a few minutes let Peppy eat her food she might need to be hand fed um and then we're going to set off again we are on the route to glenfinnan viaduct which i've wanted to see for a long time so if you are a harry potter fan glenfinnan viaduct is the one that they flew over in the um flying car um so we're going to go see that but annoyingly the trains go over at um the steam trains go over at 10 50 and 3 p.m and we've missed the 10.51. Well, we haven't missed it, but we're not going to get there in time. So, we could potentially get the 3pm one. 
but again I'm not sure if we're going to be if, if the timing's just off so we'll see how we get on maybe we can get it maybe we can't went to eat the steam train the steam train Total yeah shot. look Ben's look what Ben's eating go <laughs> show them what you're eating it's got a pork and gala pie <laughs> revolting but it's calories and I need them um so yeah last night was fine set off this morning um got a cup of tea had some we had some apple and cinnamon cake left over from the night before so that was breakfast and ben's obviously eating this pie now as a second breakfast peppy's having her breakfast so everyone's gonna be happy um and then yeah off to glamping and viaduct For a higher road, heading for a better life without the heavy flights. I've done my share of dealing, I lied and I cheated too. It's all behind me now, and girl, I just can't wait to move on. Come and walk beside me, feel my honest aim. I'm reaching out my hand for you to claim. So, darling, don't you ever. Thursday morning um, we have come to a village called Killin and funny story when we last did our road trip um, through Scotland a few years back before Peppy we drove through here and Ben took a photo if I can find the photo I'll put it on the screen now Ben took a photo in this field that was like a, a wood field like basically they chopped down the trees to make wood and we were driving through and I was like that's so weird. That looks like the field that you took that photo in like four years ago or whatever. Obviously it's all completely overgrown now and everything. Um, and we drove down into the village and saw the river where I had taken photos. And again, I'll insert them here if I can find them. Um, and we were like, oh my God, it's the same village. And we had booked a hotel room in this village. So we're staying in the Killen Hotel um, and had no idea that it was exactly the same village that we came through all those years ago. Um, obviously you completely forget the names of the villages and so it's just a really funny little story but I found this lovely little room we have a four poster bed super cute um, and like tweedy um, tartan curtains it's lovely they're dog friendly so it's amazing last night at dinner actually literally every table had a dog with them so it's super dog friendly they love them um, and there's lots of other dogs for them to play with which is great so we stayed here last night it was nice to have um, a proper bed again although it was quite warm in the night so I don't think I slept very well um, today I think we're going to go and find Loch Lomond um, where again we were before um, we stayed at the Four Seasons not the Four Seasons you know it's the specific Four Seasons um, up here so we stayed at the Four Seasons on Loch Lomond last time um, and they do a really good kedgeree I'm not sure if they're dog friendly actually I assume they are um, but a great place and beautiful view over the lake and everything. So yeah, we're going to be back on the road again today. I think we're going to spend a few hours downstairs just doing some emails and catching up on things. Um, so going to do that. Last night we just really chilled. We had some food and then we're straight to bed. We were so tired. I'm actually really tired again this morning as well. And you can still see this little red spot is still on my face. Um, but yeah, my hair, I haven't washed my hair and it's absolutely wrecked. So I need to, when we go and find a hotel or b, &B or something tonight, um, I need to wash my hair. But yeah, Peppy seems very happy. She's super chill. She's not eating her breakfast this morning. Just turfed it all out of its bowl, all onto the towel. I always put a towel down now when she eats because she just turfs it out the bowl. Um, but yeah, back on the road again today. We're going to fill up our mugs with um, tea and coffee and then hit the road. Shadows and the light and brighten up my weary soul. Come and walk beside me, feel my honest aim. I'm reaching out my head for you to claim. So, darling, don't you ever change your mind? I wanna be with you all of my time. So, the, I don't know if you can hear me because it's so loud, but this is the waterfall that I was. 
talking about where we came um, years ago. I'm basically standing on the rocks now. This is a massive river. It's so beautiful. You can see behind me all of this. And then for that way, you have the village and then the mountains behind it. It's so beautiful. Stay with me Okay guys, um, we are actually now back from our Scotland road trip. Um, we literally went to London for one night um, and had an afternoon tea for Fashion Week and now we've come down to Devon um, and we are just chilling at my parents' house for a few days. Um, but I realised I hadn't actually shown you our setup in the car for Peppy. Um, so as I mentioned, we are borrowing the Range Rover Sport um, it's like a six month old version um absolutely beautiful God, love it um so i put peppy behind the driver's seat um in her bed so it's, it's fine shh, 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 shh. saying this is her setup in the car she's behind the driver's seat i'll flip you around so you can see so i put her bed which is just this round it's from pets at home it's like a um this is kind of quite a soft fabric, but it's stiff enough to be held in by the seatbelt. So I wrap the seatbelt round and plug it in. And then we have this, which is an Easy Dog um, seatbelt, which the thing is with this is it's either made for like the middle seat or I don't know, because it's very difficult to belt in. And if we belt her in just using this part, we have to clip it to the seatbelt. So she's literally can only sit right by the plug down there. So what I've done, because this should keep her steady if that kind of look that will lock out in case of a crash so i attach this seatbelt onto the easy dog harness that we bought with this so that then she has a little bit of movement kind of up and down the thing so she can move in her bed and she's not totally kind of restricted and then all i do is attach this onto her harness and we're currently using i've got her harness in here oops we're currently using this, which is a Bark London harness and lead. Um, it's a step-in harness, which we find is the easiest one that works for us. Um, so that's literally all we do. I detach her, if I can do that now, I detach her lead, <laughs> all doing it one-handed. Um, and then that's literally just her harness. So that clips round through her paws and onto her back, and then that attaches onto that. So she's only got that much movement within her basket if that makes sense and she's really happy like this so that's what i do so i really hope you guys have enjoyed watching if you have please do give the video a big thumbs up peppy's trying to get the snacks that are on the table if you have please do give the video a big thumbs up um hit that subscribe button to see more videos from us and i will see you very shortly in a new video bye